Running ads as a new Shopify store can get really expensive really quickly, especially if you're not making any sales. Trust me, I get it. When I was a newbie and not having any success in dropshipping, I used most of my paychecks to pay for these ads and I wasn't really seeing anything in return. But after being in the e-commerce space for over five years now and generating multiple seven figures, I found simple ways for you guys to get free traffic. That is without running any expensive ads at all. There are millions of brands out there making money off of the strategies I'm about to reveal to you. Full disclosure here, everything that I'm about to tell you, we're not actually gonna be spending any money, but you're gonna be spending a different currency, which is your time. And since it's not pay to play, a lot of these strategies do take a little bit of time to actually pick up before they start working. Or you can get really lucky and it hits right off the bat. Additionally, this will teach you the skills that you need to get into paid advertising, so make sure you're paying attention. The first free method is TikTok organic. TikTok is probably one of the easiest ways to get organic traffic to your store completely for free. Obviously, TikTok is a social media platform focused on short form videos. And it definitely was the pioneer of short form and it's still beating every other platform that's trying to catch up right now. Every day, about 50 million Americans log into TikTok. So you can only imagine how many daily users worldwide that TikTok gets. Now, if you don't know what TikTok organic is, you're gonna start up your own TikTok account. All you have to do is set it up on your phone and center it around the niche that you're selling in. So if you're selling a beauty product, then your account will be centered around the beauty niche. If you're selling a golf product, it's gonna be centered around the golf niche. You need to stick within your niche and be posting content that is engaging to the audience in that niche. That way you can establish yourself in the community and establish credibility and followers. Basically in the beginning, for the first week or two, all you wanna do is post engagement engaging content within that niche, maybe reposting viral videos, or if you're doing golf, maybe some clips from Live or PGA Tour. You wanna to start snowballing your account and making TikTok believe that you are a real person because a lot of the times in the beginning, they'll just ban you right off the bat and shadow ban you for no reason. So we wanna establish that credibility with TikTok before we start posting anything about our product. Now, while you're doing this, you're gonna make sure that you order your product to your house that you're selling on your Shopify store. Because when you get the product to your house, after this TikTok account is up and running and kind of snowballing with these viral clips, you wanna take your product Product and film content with it. Just go out and spend one to three to five hours filming content of your product, its use cases, different features, different marketing angles, different settings. Just get everything that you possibly can within that time frame. The more content that you have, the more opportunities that you have to go viral because you have more opportunities with clips to mesh together and fit certain trends. Now, when your TikTok account is ready to post some of your product's ads, the structure of your video should go like this. Hook, pain, product reveal, results, and call to action. And why I recommend this method is because it's very easy to see why it actually works. Additionally, your videos are not gonna be all over the place like you see a lot of people try to do with their product videos. They're gonna be well-structured, well-formatted, so people will watch the video all the way through and hopefully purchase your product. Let me show you an example of a bad advertisement. It went viral, but there's no call to action. It makes no sense at all. How is this possible, it says, because this comment got zero likes, 12 hours, and you like and share it or whatever, right? They just want you to share this product. There's not even a clear call to action to share it and why he won the product. Is it a giveaway? Are they selling this product? What's going on here? It doesn't make any sense. Even though it got a lot of views and a lot of likes, it's not a strong call to action. There's no problem that the product is solving. There's no hook and there's essentially just no flow of the video overall. And also you're leading people just to believe, to comment and hopefully they win one and not actually purchase it. Just wait and see, right? It, it just doesn't really make any sense. Now let me show you an example of a good and well-structured video. If you're tired of big bulky blenders, this is the perfect alternative that I found. You can just watch the rest of the video here really quickly. So what they're doing in this video is saying, you know, you don't wanna use your big bulky blenders anymore. You want things that are on the go. You're late for work, you gotta to go to the gym. Look how easy this blender is. And here's the call to action you should buy and shop for this product. The format of the video was good, but the thing is that it needed a stronger hook and engagement factor. It also needed to be a little bit lengthier, really hit home on the pain that the problem is actually solving. And if you can master this type of format with the engagement factor to get the videos going actually viral, alongside with the pain agitate solve type of method, and coupled with a strong call to action, you're gonna get a lot higher conversion rate than just a video that went viral for no reason because people shared it. So for TikTok organic, you're gonna be posting videos three times a day. After this two week period of kind of ramping up your account, I would recommend one ad video per day, followed by two just generally engaging videos in that specific community and niche. If that is still going well, maybe try to ramp it up to two ads a day to one engaging video, especially once you've got your winning format for actually getting viral videos that are ads. I did this as an experiment for just a few weeks on my own TikTok of Molly Mondays. You can pop it up right here. I did two weeks of just posting engaging golfing clips until I actually moved in some advertisements and then they performed really, really well. TikTok organic really is 
is that easy. It just takes the time and effort to actually do it and stick with it and consistency. The next way to get free traffic to your online store is to use Instagram Reels. Everyone knows Instagram introduced Reels last year, and with the rise of short form content, Reels has been continuously blowing up. With over 500 million users every single day, Instagram should not be slept on. Because everyone is focusing on TikTok right now, not a lot of people have the same structure on Instagram Reels, which also means that there are less drop shippers on Instagram Reels than there are on TikTok right now, which makes a perfect opportunity for people like you and me to come in there and start posting the same types of content from TikTok, but moving it onto Reels. So we're gonna do the exact same thing as the TikTok strategy. You're gonna create an account. You're gonna post engaging content within your niche for a few weeks. You're gonna be ordering the product to your house, filming with it, and doing the exact same thing on Reels as you did with TikTok. Now, if you wanna save even more time and just do both at the same time, once you post it on TikTok, you can actually use an app or website like snaptick.app where you plug in your TikTok URL, they'll download it for you without the watermark, and then you can repurpose it right onto Instagram Reels. Super easy to do, it's a huge time saver, you might as well do both. Now in Reels, the quality is a little bit better than TikTok in terms of the quality of the camera and the videos and actually content on there. I would say Reels is almost more like a highlight of the best TikToks. So when you're posting onto Reels, I'd really only post your best TikToks that you've made and move them over there. You don't really wanna flood Reels with a bunch of not great content because I think they're a little bit more picky with their algorithm. You only wanna post your highest quality content that you've posted on TikTok onto Reels. Another great reason for Instagram Reels over TikTok is they actually have a set call to action button as well. So when you post a Reels, you can actually have like a shop now button at the bottom or message me or learn more. It's actually built into Reels, so it makes it a lot easier for people to click rather than going onto your profile on TikTok, clicking the link in bio and then purchasing. Since TikTok and Reels are pretty much one and the same in terms of the content style and the strategy, we're gonna be moving on to the next thing. The next way to get free traffic onto your website is affiliate influencers. This is easy to do, but it does take a good amount of research beforehand to actually do this successfully. So what you need to do is perfect really your cold email or DM. You need to reach out to a bunch of influencers in the space that you're selling in, whatever niche it is. This can be on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, it does not really matter. What you need to do is reach out to them, say we're gonna send you a free product, we just want you to review it and we'll give you commission on every single sale that you make from your audience. Now this is also working really well with TikTok Shop, which I'm actually gonna be working on a video to go into detail on that. But this is just a standard free way to get affiliate traffic. I actually did this with one of my very first brands. I reached out to a YouTube channel, sent them a cold email. I don't even remember how many I got, but it maybe was anywhere from five to seven decent size and one really big YouTube channel to review my product. They got to pick out whatever they wanted in my store. I shipped it out to them. They did a review on it and had a link in their description. It actually worked out really, really well. And some of them didn't even ask for a commission on these products, which is pretty crazy. That was 2018. People are a little bit more greedy now in terms of social media um, and they, everyone wants their cut and thinks they should get paid really high. So most people nowadays are going to ask for commission on their sales. But the first question is, how do you find these people? The first thing you have to do is really hone in on the niche that you're selling in. Learn the community, learn who's the big players in there, who are the small influencers that are up and coming? Some of the best influencers that you want to look for, especially on like TikTok or Instagram, are the people between 10 to 25K followers. These are the people that have great content. They're up and coming. They probably have some viral videos, but they're not at that point where they're like 500,000 or a million followers yet, which means they're not going to be flooded with people asking them to do affiliates and sponsored posts every single day. So at this level of 10 to 25K, they don't get as many people reaching out, which means they're most likely going to see your email or the DM that you sent them and probably be a little excited about it because it might be their first deal. At this size, you're going to get a lot more yeses than noes, which is great for you. And the beauty of all these short form platforms is that, you know, even if they have 10 to 20,000 followers, that doesn't mean a video cannot go viral. And if you lock in a relationship with an influencer early on and their growth stage, then you're going to most likely be able to work with them in the future once they reach that 500,000 follower mark. Now, if you don't want to do this yourself, you can always go on Fiverr and get a VA to do this for you and basically just do cold email and DM outreach. But I think it's really nice to do in the beginning yourself, at least for the first like 50 emails that you send out. So you can kind of perfect that cold email and know what people respond to before you pass on this task to a VA. Now, the next way to get free traffic to your online store is a little bit of a slow burner, but it's still nice to have. It's SEO or search engine optimization. Like I said, it's a slow burner, but it's a valuable skill to learn nonetheless. The easiest way to explain it conceptually is Google search rankings. So when you look up something in your category or niche, and there's a search list on Google of websites that sell this product, the higher the ranking, the better, right? So those people have a really good SEO search rating. Maybe it's because of a lot of traffic that they got to their website. Maybe they're using great keywords. Maybe they're filling out their metadata fields. There's a lot of different ways to actually improve your SEO. Now, Google specifically takes a lot of variables into their search rankings. I mean, it goes everything from how many people are visiting the 
the website, what's your page speed of your website, how many keywords you're using, how many orders approximately that you have, how popular is this niche, how many people are searching for it. There's a lot of different things that actually go into this, but the best thing you can do is just improve them one at a time. So you can download a thing like Google Search Console, which will actually help you identify ways to improve your SEO rankings. It keeps track of them on a monthly basis and tells you the monthly results of your store, of how many people search for it, how many times you landed on the first page of Google versus like the fifth. And sort of the first steps and best practices. I really recommend signing up for Google Search Console for all of your stores. Again, it's a slow burner and there's a lot of ways to improve your SEO, but any free Google search results that come onto your website, free traffic, make a purchase, that's great for you. Now, this is the one I wouldn't spend the most time on. I'll let it kind of happen organically, especially as your brand's growing and you get more sales, more traffic, your SEO is naturally gonna rank higher. But there are some good best practices to do in the beginning, like updating your keywords, making sure that your URL is trusted, improving your website speed, a bunch of little different things that you can do best practices for, which Google Search Console will help you with. You can go further with this and actually post blogs on your website to help with search rankings because if someone looking for a specific article, it might pop up on your store, helping your ratings, getting people onto your website, or you can even reach out to other blogs that write about your store. It helps your search rankings, all that stuff. Again, SEO is great. It's a fun thing to learn about. It is a high income skill for sure if you can get really good at SEO. But if out of all these methods, I wouldn't recommend it first. It's just a little bit more down the line and something that is a slow burner. All right, those are the best and easiest ways to get free traffic onto your store right now. I hope this was helpful for you guys, especially those of you that are on a budget when starting up your e-commerce brand. Top recommendations and the lowest hanging fruit are obviously TikTok and Instagram Reels. If you can master those things, you're gonna get a lot of free traffic, a lot of high margins on your products. And while posting all of that short form, you're gonna learn about creating content and creating great ads. All right, that's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment down below on what video you wanna see next. And also make sure that you're subscribed. All right, I'll see you guys next time.